Hi everyone, Chris here from IELTS Advantage with another success story. Today we have Gerline who is going to share her success with all of you so that you can learn from her and get the scores that you need yourself. So Gerline, can you start off just by introducing yourself to everyone? Yeah, my name is Gerline and I'm from India, but right now I'm working in Thailand. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, let's talk a little bit about your, your IELTS journey. Um, like how long have you been trying to get the score that you need? Uh, um, what, what scores were you getting? How many times did you do the test? Actually, I started uh, giving my IELTS test in May. I started in May. And that was the first time, so I did not prepare well. I just wanted to see the format. Like mm -hmm. how are the questions and am I going to... Uh, do all the questions in time or not so it was just a trial the first time and uh, fortunately I got good points good grades in listening reading in speaking and speaking but the first time I got 6.5 in writing so I thought like I could crack it uh, it's not a big deal if I can get without preparation if I can do so well so maybe if I prepare for one month I can do better but Next time when I gave, I got less in reading and the same in writing. Mm -hmm. I got 6.5 in reading and 6.5 in writing, but good grades in listening and speaking. Mm -hmm. Then I tried one more time with, little, with very less preparation again, as I'm working, so I don't get time to prepare uh, much. And third time also, I got good bands in listening, reading and speaking. But again, 6.5 in writing. Okay. So I saw that I could get, with preparation or without, I could get good bands in the three sections. But my weaker part was only writing. Uh -huh. And um, again and again, I gave seven times before joining your course. Seven times. In, because I used to give twice in a month. Wow. I was so confident, like, I could do it. It's just 0.5. It's just 0.5. I can get it. If I can get above eight in all the other three sections, then I can get 0.5 in writing. Yeah, but those... every time it was so disappointing, so disappointing. Every time I used to get 6.5 in writing. So because of that half band, I could not uh, go further uh -huh. with my process. Yeah, I think two things are very common um, with your situation is, it's, it's just an English test and I'm pretty exactly, good at English, exactly. so I'll be able to get it. Um, and then secondly, it's just 0.5 and yeah, exactly. I didn't do any preparation. So if I do it a couple more times, I get 0.5 is small, but it is huge as well. The amount of things that, that could go That's wrong. That's why it was so frustrating. I mean, mm. no one can understand what I went through. In well, these months, from, <laughs> from May until uh, yeah, December. From May until December, mm -hmm. I used to give two times or sometimes one time a month uh -huh. because I thought I could do it. It's just mm -hmm. point five. It's just point five. I need seven in writing. But again and again, I was failing. I was getting six point five. I was stuck at six point five mm -hmm. until I joined your course. And when you joined the course and when we were giving you feedback on your writing, did you understand the main reasons why you were getting 6.5 and not, yeah. not getting a 7? What, what were the those first, key reasons? The first evaluation I did was uh, was not video, the only the written evaluation. It was good, but I could not get exact, uh, like exact explanation about all the errors. Mm -hmm. So next time I tried for video, that was excellent. Mm -hmm. And I understood each and every mistake. Mm -hmm. So then I kept getting 7.5 and 7 in my writing. Mm -hmm. So after doing all the five evaluations, I was confident like I could do it. Yeah. And oh. the first time I gave IELTS after joining your course, I cracked it excellent. with excellent grades. And when we were giving you that video feedback on, on your writing, what were the key things? errors that you were making so you're like ah, oh, you know like oh that's why i was getting 6.5 see first thing uh, i joined your vip writing course so i went through all the modules before mm -hmm. writing before writing any essay or any letter yep. so that's first i finished all the 12 and then i understood that my structure was totally wrong mm -hmm. which i used to write before totally i mean i was wrong 
I used uh, maybe I used to get five in structure before. So after joining your course, when I understood the structure for each type of essay, mm -hmm. so first I tried to memorize all the structures. Then first evaluation was my structure was excellent. I mean, I got good point in structure, but my problem area was grammar mm -hmm. and uh, prepositions. Mm -hmm. um, was, was it just prepositions within, within grammar? You just had one common grammar And error? Some, some mistakes in punctuation as well. Okay, but like you focused form a, on prepositions. Yeah. So my first evaluation, I got 6.5. Again, I was disheartened. Like why I got again 6.5. But then I understood my mistakes. So five days I studied grammar mm -hmm. from YouTube, just random videos. Mm -hmm. I worked on my mistakes and then I, again, I did one more evaluation. I got 7.5. Mm -hmm. So that time I was confident. Okay, now I understood where I'm going wrong. Yeah. And it, for you, it was, it was how to structure your answer and, and grammar. Um, and those were just the two areas that, that you really needed to focus on. Um, and once you understand those are the areas that, that, that are causing the problem, then you can attack those areas instead of doing the test again and again and again and being yeah, like, oh, exactly. why am I failing? You know, it's, it's, it's much, it's, it sounds easier to some people to just keep repeating the test because they want to avoid doing a whole course and being yeah. you know, feedback and having to work hard on those things. But if you think about the amount of time that you spend failing the test over and over again, compared to learning what to do, you know, it's, it's, it's much Exactly. Better. I better. thought maybe one day I'll be lucky and I will get seven in writing. Luck so I kept trying. Strategy. <laughs> Luck and hope are not a good strategy. And I've talked to so many students who talk about, oh, I'll be, I hope I'll be lucky next time. And it's like, hope and luck. And then not, I, sure. after seven attempts, I gave three EOR also. Uh -huh. Because I was so confident, like, it's just half point. Maybe You're the examiner <laughs> will give me half point, half, half band, and then I'll get my desired band. Yeah. But unlucky every time, I didn't get seven. So it, I was so, so, so happy when I saw the result uh -huh. the eighth time, and I finally cracked it. Uh, so if you were giving advice to you six months ago, um, you know, someone who is who is just repeating the test and repeating the test and keeps getting 6.5, what advice would you give to that person? I would say, uh, please work on your, first find out your problem areas mm -hmm. and then work on it properly, at least give it a month mm -hmm. before trying the next time. Mm -hmm. And definitely I would advise everyone to join your course because I have tried other examiners also for evaluating my essays and they used to give me 7.5 but when I used to write an exam I got 6.5 yeah so I think it depends on the examiner also like you also have to be very careful because there's a lot of yeah. people online who say that they're examiners but they're not really in reality they're not and um, some some ex-examiners are really ex-examiners and they're excellent and they do a really good job but there are other people online just telling people yeah we're examiners when when they're not um, and they're just copy and pasting um, comments uh, instead of giving you detailed advice um, on your essay they're just copy and paste so do, doing it as quickly as possible and that's not going to help you you know one of the things which I liked about uh, video evaluation was the detailed explanation. Yeah. Like they explain you so clearly and so pro properly like where I'm wrong and how I, I can overcome that problem. Yeah. That was excellent. That yeah, helped so, me a lot. Yeah, but three months ago, we, we stopped doing written uh, feedback. So before we gave um, uh, a PDF report with all the mistakes and explanations via writing, now we do it via video. So we make a video, we share our screen, and we talk through exactly what the problems are. So it's, it's like being in a classroom with a real teacher, um, but the convenience of, of online, I suppose, is, is the best thing about it. Yeah, I think that's excellent. Yeah. And you are helping so many students, so many people, uh, by letting them get their desired bands. Well, 
uh, it's, it's a pleasure. That's why that's what we do every day. And that's why we come into the office every day, because we get to work with with people like you. And, you know, the fact that you did um, have a great attitude towards your feedback and you wanted to improve and you just you, you stop that behavior of hope and luck and repeating the test and change your behavior and your mindset completely to, OK, I need to stop repeating the test. I need help identifying my weaknesses, yeah. work hard to improve those into strengths. And that makes it so much easier for teachers because if, if you had the opposite um, mindset, which was, I don't want you to tell me what's wrong. I just want you to magically sprinkle some fairy dust and I will magically improve by doing no work. Then that, we, we, we can't yeah, help. That doesn't that, work. <laughs> that doesn't work. That doesn't work. <laughs> So what will you be able to do now uh, in the future now that you have the score that you need? Actually, I wanted to apply for uh, Canadian, Canadian PR. Mm -hmm. So for that, I need minimum triple seven, eight, mm -hmm. like eight in listening and at least seven in uh, the other three sections. And, you got and now that. I have, yeah, I got that. So excellent. I right. can apply now. It's so a bit finally. Of a, bit of a difference in temperature between Canada and Thailand <laughs> this, yeah, time, this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll need, you'll need a new wardrobe, I think. But uh, best of luck in your future. And if you need anything, uh, always feel free to, to get in touch with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the help. You're welcome. Thank You're welcome. Bye-bye. You. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, Chris here again. Hopefully you enjoyed that success story video. That student was part of our IELTS VIP course. And on that course, we show students exactly where they're going wrong and exactly what to do to get the score that they need. And we give them all the help and support that they need in order to get a seven, eight, or even nine in their IELTS test. Now, we only work with a really, really small number of students. Because of the level of help and feedback and support that we give students, we can only work with a very, very small number of them. But we also have more success stories than any other online or offline course in the world, which has created a huge amount of demand for our course. So we're the only course in the world, I believe, that has a very, very, very long waiting list. If you want to join that waiting list, all you have to do is just click here and you'll be able to add your name, add your email address, and then when one of our students becomes successful and leaves the course, the next position can be for you. Hopefully see you in there. Bye-bye.